And here we have the first of the final three figures that I wasn't necessarily too interested in. Here we have the Transformers Netflix Wolf Cybertron Trilogy Deluxe Class Autobot Sideswipe. Out of the Deluxe Classes, I think that Sideswipe, Chromia and Hound are the least appealing to me. However, I'm going to collect them all just as I am a completionist. And I believe that these are probably going to be more accurate to the actual Netflix series than some of the pre-existing Siege figures that we already have. We can see here that we do have quite a nice piece of artwork of Sideswipe in that black and white mode. Teeth. We also get the same head sculpt on this figure once again as I stated in some of my previous reviews. I wish that perhaps they could have given us alternate head sculpts. The back of the packaging showcases Sideswipe in robot mode as well as vehicle mode. The same piece of nice Netflix artwork. So without further ado, let's crack Sideswipe open. And here we have the new Transformers Netflix War for Cybertron trilogy deluxe class Sideswipe opened up and as he comes packaged in his robot mode. And yes, you would definitely be forgiven for thinking that this was the original release that we got last year. However, it has had some revised paint apps. Now, before I begin a comparison between this newer version to the previous version, I'm just quickly going to showcase you the piece to Teletran 1 that this figure does include. If you've watched my Scrap Face review as well as my Mirage review, you know that these deluxe class figures all come with these builder set pieces that are made out of cardboard to Teletran 1. This one's one of the more interesting ones. As you can see, it does have a schematic of Scorponok in both his Scorpion mode and the robot mode. So that's definitely quite a nice nod to the upcoming Titan class Scorponok not figure which I cannot wait to pick up when it is eventually released so once again quite a throwaway accessory of course though it is sideswipe that you're all here for and this mold for me was one of the best figures to come out of Siege and that's mainly one of the main reasons why I actually picked this figure up. When we did first get images of the revised paint apps this was one that I just couldn't really convince myself to buy. However out of all of the ones Chromia and Hound that are a little less interesting than Scrap Face and Mirage, Sideswipe was one that appealed to me the most just as I think he had the best colour variation and his mold was fantastic. Now just bringing out the original version you can see that the original had this more of a tannish color to the white plastic the new one has just a solid white plastic now it has got an almost gray tint to it but i think it looks so much better than the original siege version and that's mainly the reason why i picked this one up now i do like the blaster or the missile on this one so i'll probably salvage some parts from this such as the gun and give it to this version and then just give the gray blaster to this however i hope that you'll agree with me that the newer version is definitely a lot more visually eye appealing to look at than the previous version now i do quite like the vibrant red on the original version although the more muted more war-torn effect that the Netflix version has been given looks very authentic it definitely does give you an almost animatic effect with the battle damage on either side we've got the Autobot insignia and this almost dusty darker fade going into the red which I think looks so much cooler and we've also got that evident here for the shoulder armor I think that the battle damage on these new ones has been done so much more nicely than on the siege version just for a comparison you can see that the damage on the shin to me definitely looks more like scuffage than just some paint strokes that we got on the original version and just comparing the plastic I still think that the new version is vastly superior and for some reason as well it may just be me but I think that the metallic silver that they've used for the faceplate on this new version is a lot more reflective than on the previous version we can also see a darker silver color scheme used for the toes whereas the original was a more lighter color variation and just giving you a side by side look you can see some more of that weathered effect to the rear end of the vehicle whereas this version was actually quite clean so I imagine if you want a more G1 accurate version of Sideswipe go with the original Siege version as it's more of a clean interpretation whereas the newer version definitely does look as if though he's been through the battles and I just cannot wait for the Netflix series to debut these new figures are definitely hyping up my anticipation for the show and are by far making some of the original Siege releases redundant in my collection Bringing the figure in for a closer look just so we can get up close and personal with the paint details you can really see the fade and the weathering effect going on here for the hood of the car with the grey speckles at the front that slowly bleed into the red paint applications of the top of the hood. We've also got some more evident silver scruffs. This one here almost looks as if though it's a symbol so perhaps we will see how this takes form in the Netflix show. A really nicely stamped Autobot emblem. The faceplate looks fantastic. And then we've also got the same weathering details to the main shoulders. Taking a look at the plastic as well, as I stated, it is more of a white with a grey hue than the original, which was more of a tannish colour. And I think this looks so much better. On the back, you've still got the silver paint apps underneath the transparent piece of plastic, which I think looks super cool. So overall, just a fantastic looking figure. I really 
do like the updates on these Netflix figures. And if anything, Sideswipe has convinced me to complete the original deluxe set from this new Netflix wave and pick up Hound and Chromia. In terms of joints and how well they've held up over time, there is really no evidence of mold degradation here whatsoever. All of the joints do feel incredibly stiff. The head joint feels really nice. All the tolerances feel really good. No looseness at all. If anything, they're slightly more stiffer than on the original version. So with all of the differences compared, let's get Sideswipe fully transformed up into his vehicle mode and showcase some comparisons in that mode. And here we have both the Netflix Sideswipe as well as the original Siege Sideswipe both in their vehicle modes. And once again here you can see the obvious differences between their paint scheme. The Siege version, at least for the whole hood section, is a lot more darker and a lot more muted in terms of its colour scheme rather than the very vibrant and bright version that we got with the original. Now that is actually one criticism I do have with this particular Netflix series Sideswipe when in vehicle mode, is that the hood is a lot darker than the actual rear end of the vehicle. You can see that this is definitely a lot lot lighter and doesn't really match the same color scheme that we get towards the front and the same can be said for these pieces here whereas on the back the rear area is definitely very dark so I'm not really sure on Hasbro's whole decision making for the color scheme on this side swipe I think it looks great in robot mode but in vehicle mode there are definitely some patchy areas you can see even here this darker more maroon type of red here whereas it is very quickly contrasted by the rather lighter red which of course in the battlefield all of this would probably be more darker but you can see that he has got more of a darker muted color palette for the rims of the wheels which I think looks super nice and have definitely got a surprising amount of detail something which I'd never really realized on the original version is how well detailed the rims actually are so you do definitely learn something new every day we have got the painted section underneath this transparent clear piece of plastic which was something I loved on the original version so fantastic to see it carry over on this new version so all in all a really nice updated repaint definitely one of the more subtly painted figures when compared to that of Scrapface and of Mirage and is only one that I guess you'll really want if you prefer this colour scheme over the original version or if you are looking to complete your Netflix series Transformers. Personally for me I'm happy that I picked this figure up as I'm sure it will be more accurate to the Netflix series show rather than the Siege version. I'll probably still keep both in my collection as I stated this version is more of a clean version besides some of the battle damage that we have on the shins although I think that the battle damage effect on this newer Netflix version is a lot better so personally I'm happy that I picked this guy up and will definitely be on the hunt now for Hound and Chromia. I hope you enjoyed my review. Be sure to let me know whether or not you're picking up any of these Transformers Netflix repaints. If you are, be sure to let me know which ones you are in fact collecting, if not all of them. And until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.